This is the way I would rank web frameworks in 2025. Category D, it's basically what I like to call routing frameworks, frameworks that don't give you that much. And in reality, you wouldn't actually build real world applications with these frameworks. They just offer routing. It is just not enough to build a web application with authentication, queues, databases, caching, building involved and everything like that. Then we have the S tier. So we have Angular. When they shifted from Angular 1 to Angular 2, things just got too much complicated. Debugging was difficult. Didn't really have fun with it. We have E framework, which kind of lacked a little bit on launching E3. Next.js didn't have a very good experience with it. They have actions and everything. Not as good as, for example, something like Next.js. Uh, Next.js, which is just like Adonis or Mazonite, kind of an attempt to bring MVC into the JavaScript world. I don't think that never worked, and I don't think it will ever work. We have the B tier. Codeigniter was very popular on making documentation very good. Te Tempest PHP, because of the way it's bringing modern PHP. Neat PHP, just like Symfony, brings good components. Not as popular as Symfony, for that reason, it's going to the B tier. Phoenix, great framework. It's built in Elixir, but I don't think it brings the same level of batteries included, like Rails or Laravel. Django goes in the same story, basically. Popular, good, MVP based just not as good in terms of but it is included like Laravel has at the moment. ASP.NET is great like Spring for Java. Great frameworks in their own languages. Again not the same ecosystem as Laravel. That's why they are on the B position. The S tier and A tier, starting with Symfony, great components, great ecosystem as well, but I don't think they provide the same level of batteries included like Laravel does at the moment. Rails, great framework. I would use Rails if I were a Ruby developer. Same lineage as Laravel. It's great. And honestly, if you are doing Ruby, you should probably just use Rails. Svelte, it's a compiled language almost. It's great. The market is not there like React is at the moment, so not a lot of projects doing Svelte at the moment. Vue.js is fantastic. Honestly, Vue.js is A+. The only reason why I'm not putting Vue on the S tier, it's because if I were to start a new project right now, I would use React. AI tools, but also the market and the ecosystem, it's not right there yet like React is at the moment. React is just too much big at the moment. Then we have on the S tier, Livewire. So if I have a project where I don't need the snappiness of React, I would absolutely choose Livewire. And React, which is my default choice when building with Laravel. Finally, of course, Laravel. I'm a Laravel core team member. For that reason, I'm probably biased. Basically, Laravel comes with starter kits with React, Vue, and Livewire, but also comes with this huge ecosystem of tooling with Sanctum for APIs, Socialite, Cashier for billing. It's just too huge at the moment and brings you so much stuff for web development.